this here is Homer the Homesteader at Pie de la Eden, La Terra y Dorothy. Uh, today, I got a little bit of a, last last night before I, we had to leave, uh, this chain came off this chainsaw. Thought I'd do you a, a short video here on replacing the chainsaw, or putting a chainsaw chain back on. Important. Uh, some nowadays, I found some of the chainsaws, instead of having uh one or two bolts with nuts on them to remove they now have just a knob you can turn uh for a long time all the chainsaws i saw had two things two nuts and bolts and uh, there's a thing called the chainsaw tool pretty easily obtainable uh and they usually have two sides that are different and i haven't found a chainsaw yet they don't fit uh, this, my big uh, Husky Husqvarna uh, uses this side, the larger side, uh, and some of the chainsaws I've seen. Maybe my Husqvarna uses this side and a lot of the other ones. Anyway, I think, I don't know, but I've, I've never f found a chainsaw this didn't work on. Another thing about uh, re replacing chains or putting new chains on, they'll all have an adjustment. Uh, most of them that I've run across have a screwdriver adjustment. Lefty Lucy makes it uh, less tight and righty tighty makes it more tight. This will be important once we put the chain back on to adjust it. And uh, oh, some of the newer ones, like I said, that have the uh, not the handle to turn, just turn instead of the bolt also have an adjustment uh, either by the screwdriver tip regular screwdriver tip or a knob. So to take this chain off or put this chain back on or put a new, replace a chain, first you gotta loosen this nut, nut or two that would be on here. Uh, or like I said, you can use the ones with the handle. And take that off. Remove the cover. Um, I'll clean this out. Uh, usually want to clean that out just to get some of the stuff out. I'll actually do it after this video of replacing this. Um, to put a chain back on, it's usually pretty easy. Uh, simply align it in the bar grooves. I guess I'll do that on the side, you can see it. And back a little bit at the tip. I'll get this back here far enough for you. At the tip, I usually use just a little action to get around there. Once you got it on the tip, it'll pretty much follow the rest uh, when you pull it tight. Like I said, normally I'd clean this out. Next, uh, remember I was talking about the tightening part. There's gonna be a little post or pin that sticks out of the side of that. I don't know if you're getting enough contrast there. You can see it sticking up. Um, that goes into this little hole on the back of the bar. Right there where my finger is. And that's where that adjustment for the tension, tightening and loosening uh, will go. Um, sometimes you just kind of adjust the bar until it fits. And... Um, if it's too far off, like a, you use this, uh, you'll probably be able to see that moving as I twist this. So you adjust it a little bit to get it in the right place to line it up. Get all your teeth in one until so that the chain will stretch out far enough and be in the right place. Sometimes it's hard to get it adjusted. I always want to be able to see it. Uh, and there you go. I got it down far enough that it clicked in. And put your nut back on. 
Now you're not going to want to tighten this all the way down some so that it gets a little, little tight, but not all the way because remember that tension adjusting the screw uh, needs to be lined up. I'm running the chain around again until all the teeth sit down. Uh, you can see it's a little bit loose still. So you want to tighten that screw. We've got a couple teeth still out of alignment there. So it's going to be tighter than it is when it runs normally. Of course, I'm having the hardest time on this while I'm on the video. Sometimes your teeth don't want to line up. And so um, we'll look at which way I'm having a hard time moving the uh, chain around. And so I'm going to find the cutting edge should be coming around on this side back into the bottom of the saw. You don't ever want to push on that cutting edge, but you can pull on the back side of it. What I'm trying to do is get it to align down here where it's out of the thing and sometimes just feeding it through will help, but it's not wanting to sit in there. So we're going to go back to loosening this up. And maybe I pinched the bar enough that it won't run in there anymore. I don't know. I would just cut and brush with it. So let's take it off and take a look. So it seems that the teeth are sticking down here in the track. Take off the whole bar and let's take a look. So, it's a little tight through there. Just pulling this regular screwdriver all the way down the track. Trying to see if it's bent anywhere. Get a little bit more resistance towards the back here, but mostly just clogged up with a little sawdust and oil. All right, we're gonna try that again. All right, the chain's going in still a little tight in there. Lining it up all the way. This time I'm gonna put the chain in because this is a little tighter track than I've encountered in a while. Get it all lined up and in the track before before I put this on and I'm going to hold it tight while I do that so I'm holding pressure on this bar right here so that it won't fall back and let the chain come out of the track and I loosen that up a little to get it back in the hole so sometimes they're a little cantankerous getting these on this one I'm going to tighten up before tightening that nut down too far. Again, because I'm having a little hard time with it getting back into the track. And so there, that's the longest. Oops, tighten that too tight. That's the longest chain changing event I've ever encountered, except for when the chain gets a little knotted up. All right. So now I got this where it's tight enough that it can't come off the track right now. These will loosen up as they get warm in your cutting. And there's 10 minutes on how to change to replace a chain.
Just thought you'd like an update on property.